you can write um, a brief, a legal advice to your client, or what to write in the law school, a legal memorandum, case notes. I think the standard will be pretty much the same. Right. What you need is conciseness, clarity, a logical flow of the arguments. Um, because they, you have to make it readable right, and intelligible. Right, that's the key. When I assess students um, on a piece of documents, um, we need, of course, um, students to keep the sentence short, right? There's the, there are a few criteria, keep the sentence short, right? um, explain the ideas in a logical manner, right? point by points, um, well research, discussions of the legal materials, right? That's not something you can copy or uh, from, from anywhere, right? That, that requires your understanding of the cases or the legal or the legislative provisions before we can do it. But first, I think that we need it to be uh, well researched, right? Obviously, to consider the issues from different perspectives, right? Local cases, um, either from locally or from overseas jurisdictions. Read all the legislations, relevant ones. Basically, I think that, that occupies most of the time in doing well researched memorandum. Then, of course, you, you gather all the materials, summarize it, and then put those material in perspectives because before you can utilize those notes or information to write a better uh, legal memorandum. In law school, we teach students how to write legal memorandum um, in this way. We need introduction, right? um, something about the facts of the case, the background of the case, the procedural histories, right? the arguments, was it? and finally conclusions. What is the most important part of the memorandum is, the, of course, the, the, the content body, what the, the arguments works, mm -hmm. right? what, what the laws are, and how you apply the laws to the um, situations, and give an advice at the end of conclusions. I think this works if you practice law in, in, uh, in the real world. That, that, that makes sense. Right? So I think, that therefore, the standard in the um, teaching in law school and in profession should be the same. There's no shortcut. Basically, you have to read a lot of judgments because by judgments, basically the judges are telling us the stories. We learn how judges write judgments and explain all the arguments. That's very important, right? That, so there's no, that, would not be helpful if we just read, you know, the, the, the nutshell, the, the case, just the case notes, or the, that will work. So it takes time, right? You learn English by reading lots of judgments, like a lot of um, different documents, right? But, but you have to give it to someone who can give you comments. Reading more, writing more, right? With um, asking more right, um, for advice from professors, from the teachers, that, that would be the, I think that's not, that's not something new, right, but um, this should be uh, known to the students.